So say for example that these two cubes are similar, okay, and we want to find the scale factor from figure A to figure B. So what you want to do when you find the scale factor from A to B is you actually want to take the image, which is the new one, divided by the pre-image, that's the old one, that's the original one. So if you're going from A to B, you actually want to take this length, 3, divided by this length, 2. So you can see that you know, this comes out to 1.5, that you know, the lengths of the sides in figure B are going to be 1.5 times uh, longer than in figure A. Now if you're going the other direction, if you're finding the scale factor from B to A, what you would do is you do just the reverse. Now the image would be 2 and the pre-image, the one before, would be three, so you can see that this is gonna be two-thirds, the side lengths are gonna be two-thirds. But what we wanna do is we wanna take this you know, to the next level. We wanna say, well, if I wanted to compare the surface area of these two cubes, how would I do that? Well, the key is to take the scale factor, okay, three halves, okay, let's just look at this original one from A to B, so three halves, and what you wanna do is you wanna square that scale factor, so that's gonna give you 9 fourths or 2.25. So what that means is that the surface area, you know, the, if you had to cover this or wrap this box, say for example, you would need two and a quarter times more wrapping paper, say for example. Now if you want to compare the volumes, what you're doing then is you're taking that scale factor, three halves, and you're cubing it. So now you've got 27 eighths, okay, which is about what? That's three and three eighths. So the volume here is going to be more than three times, okay, almost three and a half times the volume of this cube here. So the key is to uh, figure out whether you're comparing lengths, okay, which are one dimensional, area, which is two dimensional, or volume, which is three dimensional. So if it's three dimensional, you're going to be cubing the scale factor because the length, the width, and the height are all being multiply by that scale factor. If it's just area, it's just going to be two-dimensional. It's just like the length and the width that are being multiplied by that scale factor. So it's the scale factor squared. And then if it's just length, it's just going to be one-dimensional. You're just going to be multiplying it by the scale factor. So let's go ahead and take a look at some other examples here. I just wanted to mention, if you're preparing for the ACT, check out my ACT um, math video course. I've got 21 different concept areas that I cover in that course. Uh, to help you boost your score on that test. Uh, check it out. But let's go ahead and take a look at these last two examples here. Here we're looking at surface area of cones. Now the only thing that we have to go on here is the radius. Now they'll tell you in the problem that the two cones are similar. So then all you have to do is say, okay, well it looks like the scale factor is okay, one half, because this is the new one, this is the old one. So to go from here to here, it's going to be the new divided by the old. But what I want to do is I want to take that scale factor and I want to square it because we're comparing the areas, right? So two-dimensional. So that means that the ratio of the areas is going to be one to four, okay? Now, when you're comparing these, it's easy to see which one's the smaller one and which one's the larger one. If you're looking at the numerator, you see this is one, this is smaller than four. So when we go to compare the surface areas, I'm going to put the 20 square units in the denominator and I'm going to put the smaller area here in the numerator. So 1 to 4, that ratio of the areas is the same as the ratio here, x to 20. So all we have to do is cross multiply. You can see 4x equals 20, and that the area, the surface area of the smaller cone is going to be 5 units squared. Okay, so you're with me so far? Let's look at one last example. We're going to compare volumes. Uh, if we're comparing the volume here, which they give us is 100 square units, actually 100 cubic units, right, because it's three-dimensional. If we're trying to compare these two, you can see the scale factor is two-fifths. So this is going to be, uh, the heights are two-fifths, okay. They'll tell you that they're similar, and then all you have to do is take that scale factor and cube it, okay, which is going to give us 8 over 125. We're going to set up a proportion, 8 over 125 equals the volume of this smaller figure divided by the volume of the larger figure, which they tell us is 100 units cubed. Okay, so now we have a proportion. All we have to do is cross multiply and solve, and that's it, you got it. So you can see this is gonna be 125V equals 800, and if we divide, we get 800 125ths, and that's gonna be units cubed, and you can reduce that 
or get a decimal. So again, the main thing to pay attention to is, is it area, is it volume, is it just length? And that'll tell you whether you should, you know, square it if it's area, cube the scale factor of its volume, or it's just the scale factor itself when you're comparing the two lengths. And remember, when you're going from A to B, it's actually B's length divided by A's length. It's the new one, the image, divided by the pre-image, the one before. So subscribe to the channel, check out some of my past videos. I've got more videos like these coming for you, so stay tuned, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.